हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम हेयर इज ए प्रॉब्लम व्हेन दिस पैराक्रेसल ट्रीटमेंट विथ क्लोरोफॉर्म प्रेजेंस ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड फ्लोड बाय हाइड्रोजन पेरोक्साइड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ बेस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड व्हाट इज द प्रोडक्ट द प्रोडक्ट इज दिस वन दिस वन दिस वन और दिस वन आई कैन फाइंड दिस प्रॉब्लम यू जी सी सी एस आई एल नेट टू in order to solve this problem you should know raimer timon reaction raimer timon reaction it is a reaction used for the conversion of phenol to salicylaldehyde like this one with treatment of chloroform in presence of strong base basically it is use sodium hydroxide or you can use potassium hydroxide also so what is the mechanism of raimer timon reaction here chloroform it play a vital role when this chloroform in presence of base sodium hydroxide base takes this proton to give chloroform carbon ion after removing chlorine ion then it forms dichlorocarbene this is dichlorocarbene now phenol in presence of base that is sodium hydroxide it forms phenoxide ion that is negatively charged phenoxide ion and it is again attack by the carbon species so when negative charge on oxygen atom it falls here this attacks here so we get Here it is double bond oxygen. Here remain again it is same. And here addition of this Cl two group, CCl two group. And again it is negative charge. Here hydrogen when this negative charge takes this proton, this falls here, and this conjugation like that. So we get. After this conjugation, here it is O minus. Here it is CHCl two. After in presence of base, here base acts as a nucleophile. So base attacks here, and this chlorine. goes out from this system as a leaving group so finally we get here it is o minus and here it is c cl and h and addition of oh now this negative charge takes this proton this falls here and this chlorine again removed so we get corresponding final product here it is oh and here it is c double bond o and here it is h so we get salicylaldehyde so raimer timon reaction it is a process it is a conversion 
of phenol to salicylaldehyde after treatment with clodopan and any base. Now go for problem. Here is our problem. When this paracolosal treatment with this alimentary reagent and followed by hydrogen peroxide in presence of base, what is the product? Now, when this paracolosal treatment with rheumatoid reaction, then it forms here it is methyl and here it is aldehyde group ortho position. Now, second one hydrogen peroxide in presence of any base sodium hydroxide then hot second here hydrogen peroxide this base this base takes this proton and this opened up so here we get this, this acts as an equal file. So when this system here it is CH group. So after treatment with peroxide ion, it's attacks here, it's opened up. So we get Here again it is same and this here it is O minus and here it is H and here addition of OOH. Now here when this negative charge on oxygen atom it falls here the valency of this carbon atom it is increases. So one of these two are migration. So more Migratory aptitude migrates here and this removed from this system. So finally, we get this system. Had this carbon connected with this oxygen, so here it is oxygen, and this oxygen connected to this carbon. So it is carbon and double bond O H O C H O. Now again base again attacks here this opened up. So we get Add O H and here O C O minus H and addition of O H. Now when this negative charge falls here, this opened up. So we get here methyl group, here addition of OH and here O minus and corresponding this also form HO, C double bond O and H. Now when this negative charge on oxygen atom, it takes this photon, it's opened up, so we get finally this one.
so this is the final products so the correct answer when this paracrossal treatment with chloroform presence of base and followed by hydrogen peroxide in presence of base the product this one we get this one so product this one